This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 4, this is Section 4. What it means to let go and live in love. Trust is the key to letting go of fear, guilt and pain through forgiveness and surrendering the world identity to the spirit. The spirit's light is opposite to protecting and defending the body identity. Letting go of attachment to externals and placing faith in the spirit is the key to enlightenment. Anger and guilt will shift from scene to scene, place to place, until its source is unveiled and forgiven inside of us. Until there is forgiveness, the blame game, finger pointing and distractions to forget the pain are but follies that a deceived mind plays with in order to stay in denial. Once anger and guilt are seen as unjustified, they can be released forever. The lures of the world glimmer and tempt toward a better life of more status, more money, more power, more recognition and more sex appeal. But once these gifts are seen to be fool's gold, the underlying illusion of the world, ego, is unveiled. As long as one gives faith to the ego, one will seem to be a pawn in the ego's game and world. When you see the ego exposed, it is no longer attractive. When faith is withdrawn from an illusion, the illusion disappears, much like darkness vanishes with the dawning of light. What faith it takes to move beyond inner fears and doubts and the seeming opinions of the world to find true innocence within. What strength it takes to look past appearances and actions to the love that resides inside without taking sides or condemning any brother or sister. Yet faith is rewarded openly when we learn to truly forgive and let go of the illusions that were mistakenly held about ourself and the world. We experience a joy not of this world. All relationship conflict arises from the personal perspective of the ego. In self-deception, the self-concept or body identity is held as a substitute for true intimacy or the union of mind. The belief to be questioned is the belief in separation and all subsequent thoughts of rejection, betrayal, anger and abandonment. It takes great faith to unveil what is being believed to be true and to instead accept the truth of ourself. That as a spiritual being, we are incapable of being rejected, betrayed or abandoned. 
In a world of darkness, controlled by time, images and roles shift and change by night as if part of a mad experiment. Everyone seems under the spell of sleep and forgetfulness, just vaguely remembering a distant memory of light, of home, though struggling to remember how to get back home. When the plan of darkness is finally uncovered and exposed, the upside-down world is turned right side up and bathed in the light of innocence in the present moment. There is no memory of a past in God. The games of fear and guilt are ended in the light of true love. Holy child of God, you are a beautiful creation of a loving God. Let not the dreams of the world persuade you that you are unworthy of love. You are divine love itself and nothing can ever change the real you, the one perfect, infinite, magnificent, eternal love that you shall forever be.